I want to help you answer the question, who are your early adopters? To do that, we both have to make sure we're talking about the same thing when we talk about early adopters. A lot of people think early adopters are the people who sleep outside of Apple stores before a big launch, or the people who always have the latest gadget. And while that's a definition of early adopter, that's not really what we're talking about when we talk about early adopters in terms of entrepreneurship. When we talk about early adopters in terms of entrepreneurship, what we're referring to is a group of people that's represented by the diffusion of innovations curve. And this very first group of people in this curve are the early adopters. These are the very first customers of a new product. Once a product has early adopters, it will be followed on by early majority, late majority, and the laggards. So this curve represents the growth of a product over time in terms of customers. Now, many of us will achieve product market fit once we have our early majority using our product. But there's one thing we have to have before we can get our early majority using a product. That thing is our early adopters. So in order to achieve product market fit, we have to start with the early adopters. And this is critical for everyone. If you can't find early adopters for your product, it is very, very unlikely that you will ever be able to find product market fit. So how do we find these people? Well, to know whether we're talking to an early adopter, an early majority, or a laggard, what we're going to do is we're going to keep one rule in mind. And that rule is the one we always talk about here, and that is customers don't buy products. Customers buy solutions to problems. So with that in mind, the way to tell the difference between an early adopter, an early majority, a late majority, and a laggard is to assess their relationship to a given problem. So I'll walk you through an example and break this down in more detail. Let's say the customers you're going to serve are startup founders. And the problem you want to help them solve is they're not quite sure how to do lean startup. They buy into the theory, but they have difficulty actually applying the principles. A laggard in this case is someone who falls within the customer segment, but does not have the problem that we're trying to solve. So in this case, that could be someone who's very adept at applying lean startup. Eric Reese, Steve Blank, Ash Moira, people who know exactly how to apply these principles. Or someone who doesn't subscribe to lean startup at all. They're a startup founder, but they don't want to use lean startup at all. This is someone who would be a laggard and would be the very last group of people to actually use your product or service. Because they don't have the problem, they don't know that they have the problem, and they're not actively seeking a solution for it. When you compare that to the late majority, these are people who have the problem, but don't know that they have the problem. These are people that we can tell they're not sure how to apply Lean Startup, but they wouldn't know it themselves. An example here might be someone who considers themselves lean because they don't have a lot of money, or they have a very small team, or someone who uses the word MVP as synonymous for beta. We would know that they're not exactly going to know how to apply Lean Startup principles, but they might not know it themselves. If you ever feel like you have to educate your customers about the problems they have, you're probably talking to a late majority. Someone who you can see they have a problem, but they don't see it themselves. And these are the hardest people to sell to. Because you have to spend all your time just getting their attention to convince them that they have a problem that they don't even know that they have. So this rarely ever works. Because they don't know that they have a problem, they're not actively seeking a solution to that problem. The early majority are people who have the problem and know they have the problem but are not actively seeking a solution to it. This is typically for one of two reasons. The first is, maybe they know they have the problem, but it's not so intense that they're actively seeking a solution for it. This could be someone in our example who maybe has just started reading the Lean Startup. And so they're like, oh, I, I kind of see that it's a problem, but they don't really know that it's such an intense problem that they need to go search for a solution. The other reason someone can be in the early majority is because maybe they've already been seeking a solution and they haven't found one. And so they've just assumed that there isn't one available. And these would be our early majority. And again, these are the people who are going to help you achieve product market fit, but you're not going to be able to get them on board until you have your early adopters, the people who convince them to go try the solution. So in this case, an early adopter is someone who has the problem, knows they have the problem, and is actively seeking a solution. These are the people you want to target. 
because they are so hungry for a solution that they're already trying to find one. And they will take a risk on your new idea, your new startup, something they've never heard of because they're desperate for a solution. These are the people that when they find a solution that they're excited about because it solves their problem, they'll go tell other people, including the early majority. That person who didn't think that there was a solution to that problem, all of a sudden they say, oh my gosh, finally someone's built a solution. And now you're on the path to achieving product market fit. All right, so now you know what early adopters are and you know who yours are. You know who they are because you can write down, you know, what are the actions someone takes to actually go and seek a solution to the problem you're trying to solve. Right? So in this case, if you have found this video by searching for it, you're an early adopter. Right? You're actively seeking a solution for how to apply lean startup principles. If, however, someone shared this with you and you thought it might be interesting, you maybe are an early majority. Right? Someone who knew you have a problem, but you're not actively seeking a solution. So you need to find the people who are actively trying to solve the problem that you are trying to solve. And to do that, you're going to go basically write down what are the actions they would take to try and solve the problem, and then you're going to reach out to them. Now, if you want some help doing this, including like more detailed steps on describing exactly who your early adopters are, identifying where they are, and then identifying how to reach out to them, check out the adoption behavior curve. It's the fourth exercise in the first workbook of the Focus Framework, and it will help you detail exactly who your early adopters are, where they are so that you can find them, and then how to reach out to them. All right, my friends, you know who early adopters are. They are the customers who have the problem, know they have the problem, and are actively seeking a solution for it. All that's left is for you to go find them.